Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to be making. It's called a pinwheel card or a tower card. I've seen it both ways. Isn't it adorable? This says so smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. And that's where I will sign our names and say who it's from. And so proud of you to an amazing grandson. You are so loved. This is for Jacob and Wesley. And um, these are, I just cut them out of this DSP. It's the back side of this one. And I cut every one from there. The fox is there. The, um, this is from the other DSP. And this one is here. So cute. Oh my goodness. And this is done in the new macrame uh, embossing folder just adds a nice texture there isn't that cute and look how it stands i think this is just an adorable card and there's the envelope and that is just stamped now it's from the penguin place stamp set and the dsp is the uh, a freebie when you spend $60 or more uh, during uh, August and September 30th. So cute. These are all the colors that go with this. I think it's just adorable paper. So uh, this is for my grandsons and I'm going to be making one the same style but different. It's going to be using the um, counting sheep bundle. Well, it's not a bundle. It's a freebie that you get. If you spend $60, you get this. You can get this free. And $60, you can get this free with the, the dies and the uh, stamp set. I think it is just so cute. And I used um, You Are So Loved to an Amazing Grandson, uh, So Proud of You, and then So Smart, uh, So Smart, So Fun, So Sweet, and So Wonderful. And that was on the uh, Jacob and Wesley's card. Now this one, I'm going to be using um, You're the Best from the Hams Handsomely Suited stamp set. Now you can make it anything. I wanted to make this generic so that it would go with anything. Uh, so I wanted to do that. Now I've started with, a, this is a four and a quarter high by four and a half wide. Now you can just use cardstock, but I chose to use designer series paper because it's not as bulky and it will, I think, maybe not, uh, I could be wrong, but I think it won't be as hard to send it through the mail or it won't, probably won't cost you extra. So that's why I just chose to do that. Now I took my tear and tape and I've already put a strip down there and took the backing off. And now I'm going, oh, I forgot to tell you. This is scored at one, two, three, and four. So you have a half inch left here, and then you just burnish it. 
and I wanted this on the inside so that when you look down, it's darker. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I'm just going to take this off because I put the tear and tape on there just to speed things up a little bit. There. If I get this out of the way, get my um, basket closer, and then I just put it on top like that. And get rid of that. There we go. Now, I have taken the same designer series paper, the same uh, color, Misty Moonlight in the background, and I put them, now the, all the dimensions are listed in the video, so you don't have to worry about that. And I did a few things ahead of time so that I wouldn't take up a lot of time uh, on you doing that because it takes a little bit of time and you don't need to see me doing all that kind of stuff. Now this is the light basic black and I'm going to do the hooves in it. Just like that. It doesn't take long. And on his uh, face, his uh, ears, and his legs, it's dark smoky slate. And then I just took light smoky slate and I'm just doing the the de a little bit of the detail here for a little bit of shading. I'm not going to do all of it because I'm going to put this on and cut it off. Well, maybe a better just in case. I don't know how much I'm going to cut off of it, but I want it in the corner. What I'm going to do is put You're the Best, and I'm stamping that in black ink, and hopefully get this straight so that I can do this hopefully straight because I don't want to get my head in the way. Eh, not too bad. And this one, then I'm going to put here so that it just adds a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna, okay, there I go. And I'll get my glue and yeah, down here. Oh, come on. There, oh, way too much glue, Cheryl. Good one. <laughs> oh, leave it to me. Yep, I did okay. And it's not squishing out, so we're good. Now, take my scissors. And I'm coming along the back here. And I'm cutting off the extra. There. Put that in the garbage. Put this on. And then I'm going to, you can take your tear and tape, but I think for the video, I'm going to do this with the seal plus, and then I'm going to put it like this and take it to the edge. 
And because you're, people are going to play with this card, um, you need, you put it right to the edge and you need a very strong adhesive, which is the tear and tape or the um, seal plus. Oh, I'm not finished here. Getting ahead of myself. Now I kind of laid this out the way I want it so that I knew ahead of time what I was going to do because I haven't got one made. I just um, didn't want to make an extra one of these. I didn't want to make an extra penguin one actually and thought, oh, uh, the penguin one is so simple because I just cut everything out that would be a good one to show you what I have done so that you could easily do that and then I would do show you what this one looks like with the counting sheep so that you can see that you can use any kind of card or any kind of stamp set or whatever isn't that cute Oh my goodness, I love these sheep. Stampin' Up! did such a great job with their free stamp sets this, this year uh, for celebration. We've never had a celebration in um, July before. And, oh, that should go. I did it too long there. Right, you want it right on the edge, but not over top. And then you fold it again. And let's just put this together. And uh, nope, I want this one. That's the one I want next. Apparently I'm not very organized today. This is crazy. Now these are the little clouds from the die set uh, from the counting sheep. I think they're just adorable. Get my fingers underneath them. So how's everybody today? The weather is so much nicer outside for the people that don't like the heat and humidity. It uh, has been kind of brutal lately, but me, I would prefer the, the sun than the snow, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh, I hate the thought that today is, is September already and that soon we're going to be in to the winter and... I won't want to go outside for anything. Uh, I just, I literally hate winter anymore because I get so cold outside. Now I can do this one. much nicer t for everybody to work outside. It's been brutal. My son-in-law is a mechanic and he works in a shop and he says it has just been unbelievable in the shop. He's drinking so much water, just trying to survive. Now, what I'm go going to do is put this on dimensionals whoops just so I can stick the um, balloons behind it <laughs> 
Isn't that awful when you can't remember something so silly like you can't spit it out? Now this is the only one I put on dimensionals. And you don't have to, you could figure out where you're gonna put them and uh, just stick it on. But I just thought because of the video, it would just be easier to uh, put it on dimensionals. And this is Misty Mood Night, Fresh Freesia, and Soft Sea Foam. And I've just used little tiny scraps of that. And they are so cute. Okay, cut the end off. There. What do you think? <laughs> These guys are so cute. Oh my goodness. I just love them. So what do you think? I've left these alone and I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on them. Um, you can, you could do it exactly like I have done this one, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. I'm just going to wait and see who I'm going to give it to, what color I put on it. I might want to make it uh, for a female and then I would do the fresh freesia instead of the soft sea foam so it's just totally up to you what you decide to do now what I've done is an envelope okay what did I do maybe I put it away I did I put it away um, sorry about that I've got to get out my block and I put the paper behind so that when I color the sheep, which I'm going to do basically the same as I did on the inside, and I'm just putting it there on the edge. I'm not doing the whole thing. And then I will do the coloring. I like to do around the edge so that I've got it to the edge and then start doing my circles for a larger area. Now for this smaller area, I just basically color it in. Isn't he cute? Okay, this is the hooves. There's my uh, light smoky slate. And then this I'm just doing the, just for a little bit of depth for it's where the artist has given me the indication of what to do I just don't want to do too much I think that's pretty good take that out and see how it marks it up 
must always put something behind. You don't want that on the back of your envelope. Put this away so that I can bring my paper in here. And there's that one. And there's that one. So what do you think? There, that one's the same as this page that's up. Or should I just make it different? Ah, that one. That one's kind of cute. They're all cute, but oh my goodness. So can I interest you in trying this and seeing what you can create? Then post on my video. I would love to see that. Post a card that you've made with this pinwheel uh, design. And let me see what you can create. Thank you for watching. I so appreciate you joining me and uh, being a part of this. If you could like, share, uh, subscribe, that would really help me to grow my channel. If you need anything, you could go to my online store and purchase through me. Just make sure it uh, says Cheryl Rowling and, um, or give me a call. I'm going to be placing an order at the beginning of September. Just let me know and I can get that looked after. If you would like a catalog, there's the um, celebration that's to the end of September. And it has a lot of wonderful things in here. Like this delicate dahlia stamp set is gorgeous. And here's the sheep and the dies. There's so many different things that you can purchase from here in here and the mini catalog is available and it has a lot of stuff for the fall or winter um, special stamp sets and everything that they put out just for the mini so if there's anything I can do please contact me and I will see if I can help you whatever you need help with thanks so much for watching bye now